A series of crimes hit residents of Kenilworth in their neighborhood. Thieves have burglarized homes and a church in stolen cars. Residents tell News 13's Evan Donovan they're watching for anything unusual to make sure it stops. I was sad. I really felt disheartened. At Loving Food Resources, we're trying to. Barbara Bell directs one mission meet the food insecurity needs of, of clients. Providing food on Saturday mornings. They took things they could grab and pawn. For people living with HIV, AIDS, or in home hospice care. We really haven't discussed it with all the volunteers. Until this past Saturday, when thieves broke in this door and stole a laptop and other computer equipment. Volunteers, you know, put in a lot of time here to make the pantry work and for someone to come in and violate us because this is like a second home. It is that sense of violation that uh, I left it secure and then came back in, found somebody been in. So it's not a good feeling. People all over Kenilworth neighborhood have that same bad feeling after four recent burglaries or car thefts have left residents on the lookout. The owner of this Honda Pilot says he parked it outside his house around 1030 at night and by 8 in the morning he came outside and it was gone. The car was recovered two days later with chemical stains and ripped upholstery in the trunk, a burnt sun visor and broken taillights along with other damage. In this upscale neighborhood, the owner had left the keys hidden in the locked truck. But after these recent crimes, both he and Barbara Bell will be more careful. We'll be certainly looking at what we lock up now. Reporting in Asheville, Evan Donovan, News 13.